A little while ago, episode 6 of The Crown was released. So I turned on my TV, watched a couple of episodes, until I came to the idea to analyze three different versions of Queen Elizabeth and see who's best. And that's exactly what I did, based on these three aspects. Now I'm gonna get back to my computer. Right, so the first detail is face-to-face -face comparison. Now here is Claire Foy's appearance as Queen Elizabeth. I like the thickness Claire has in her lips. Also her crown feels fairly accurate. And when I look at other pictures of the real queen, the jewelry seems superbly accurate. I'm gonna give this a 7 out of 10. Now Olivia Colman's version and the first thing I immediately notice is her hair. How accurate is that supposed to be? It's like 102%. What I also like are her type of ear bells. And the, no offense, wrinkles look surprisingly similar. I think I'll give it a 6 out of 10. It's mostly that low because my intuition says I'm still seeing more Olivia Colman rather than the Queen. And finally for this round, Imola Staunton. Once again, love the hair, but I also love Imola's eyes. And the jewelry really seems to fit as well. I think I'm also gonna give this a 7 out of 10. Now that's done, off to the second route. The portrayals. Claire Foy. I can imagine that preparing to play a young Elizabeth must have been tough, due to the lack of footage in those days. But she had to embody a pressured queen that was only 25, and was already becoming head of state. Plus she had to deal with a lot of pressure, leadership, and motherhood in those days. But the most amazing part is her voice. Do we have a recording or something? And in the meantime, I'll ask if I can get you a direct line. Ah, there we go. I must admit, I'm giving her a 9 out of 10. I thought it was superb. Now Olivia Colman is supposed to play a queen who is relatively middle-aged. And I already said that it didn't immediately have the impression that I was watching the queen, but rather Olivia Colman. And in this period, Olivia shows a more severe character, even to her royal children. Sometimes Olivia even showed a more saddened version of the queen. But if sources were to be believed, she always was a very humble person. And maybe that is severe as the level that Olivia showed. Therefore I'm giving her another 6 out of 10. Now Amal de Staunton. Amal de Staunton portrayed the queen quite brave and strong, despite the fear of becoming more obsolete in a society that is evolving. And she did that amazingly in an attention grabbing way. As it's also the queen at an age we know her best, which makes it easier to relate to. I'm giving Amelda another 7 out of 10. And the final chapter, general reviews. What I've done is, I've looked up different reviews from at least two different sources that included anything reviewing the Queen's actors. So for Claire Foy, you have all of these. Let's say, that's another nine. For Olivia Colman, you have all of these. Yeah, let's estimate that at about a 5. And finally, for Amelda Staunton, another 7. <laughs> 